I know all you guys have felt the feeling of being nervous before you're about to play a game, or even while you're in the game. And it's not when you're playing with your friends or anything like that, it's when you're playing with guys who you know could kill you. Like metaphorically on the court and literally. You know, you walk into the court, you're ready, you have a jolly face on, you're ready to just play some basketball, have some fun. I don't think I've ever said the word jolly in my life. But you know, you're all happy, then you walk inside and you see the court is just filled with genetic freaks of nature. I mean like 99% of the players are over 6'3". Every single time they do a layup in the game, it looks like they could have dunked it from how high they were. You see LeBron James in the corner calling next. All of them could probably 360 through the legs windmill dunk with no hands from the half court line if they wanted to. It's just really intimidating is what I'm trying to get at. So you know you see that and some people some people will just not even play. They'll just shoot around and leave. And those people are what I call uh, bitches and I know because I used to be one of them. But other people will be intimidated but they'll still want to run a game. So they'll call next, you know, ready to play. But then they get in the game and they never want to touch the ball. They're so nervous to go against any of these guys, they feel like they're gonna get ripped or stuffed or just airball every single shot they take. And it's gonna be really embarrassing. So they end up just passing the ball every single time they get it. And it just, you're not even playing really. Like, why would you get in the game and then just pass the ball? It's so boring. But anyway, if any of you guys have this problem, I got three tips to help me break out of this. Tip number one is just to play more. I know that sounds super obvious, but a lot of people still don't do it. If you just play more games, you'll get more comfortable in playing those games, which will then make you better in those games. Just any chance you have to play a game, Play it. Now you can play wherever you know there's a lot of people, uh, but for me, I personally like to break into my local elementary school during PE and play against the third graders. Some people call it illegal, I call it getting better. And also illegal. Tip number two is to play against the best people you can find. That's right, you gotta go to that gym and play against those 20 genetic copies of LeBron. I know this is super intimidating and it's a lot easier said than done, but if you just get yourself to do it, you're gonna be so much more comfortable in those games. It's e like right away, this is the best tip to just reduce reduce your uh, nervousness. This is basically directly facing your fears. Like this is exactly what you don't wanna do. So if you can do this, get comfortable with it, then your nervousness should be completely gone. You're gonna get really embarrassed though. I mean, get ready to get crossed up, stuffed, or ripped in every single possession in the game. Good luck. By the way, I know this kind of counteracts that whole uh, third grader thing I said earlier, but that was a joke. Um, I don't really break into elementary schools during PE and play against third graders. I mean, come on. I play against second graders. And tip number three, and this usually come with time, is just to get better. I know this is way easier said than done, but if you can just get better and get your skills to kind of match them, at least to the point where you can compete with them, then you'll be able to compete with them and you won't be nervous anymore. If you show that you can compete with them at their level, then they will respect you and you'll lose all your nervousness. For me, I had decent skills, but the day that I was able to grab rim as a 5'8", 5'9", Arab kid at 15 years old was the day that every single person I played against respected me and it really just made me lose my nervousness because I knew that they respected me. I was also a decent shooter and a pretty good finisher, so all of that combined with my hops just made everybody kind of respect me more, which uh, gave me, you know, the confidence to play against the bigger guys, and then playing with the bigger guys made me better, and then all that came together, so all the three tips worked together. Then, with the new skills I got, I would cross up those second graders even worse on the court. I mean, like, it was just a murder out there. I mean, just piles of kids with broken ankles. You should have seen it. it was terrible. Anyway, what the fuck? Anyways, guys, that's the video. I hope it helped you out, and if it didn't, Okay, and I got big news guys. I'm gonna start selling shirts uh, either next week or in the next two weeks uh, And I have five designs you can see them right here and I can only pick one design to sell to you guys So you guys are gonna have to take a survey and pick which one you like the most and I'm gonna go through all of them really quick So first one right here. See you in hell. That's my fucking catchphrase I was I was just gonna have this one I wasn't even gonna make five designs But some of you guys probably don't want to wear a shirt that says see you in hell all the time So I don't know I'll let you guys vote see if you guys actually want it next one motivational quote I mean self-explanatory right there. It's beautiful. All right third one let there be buckets now this is the prayer i say before every single game i play uh so it's good to have it on a shirt fourth friends are temporary basketball is forever story of my life and then the last one is just the word foul whenever you're in a game every single pickup game somebody calls foul for no reason now you just have it on your shirt you get the ball back every single time it's genius so anyway those are the five designs make sure you take the survey pick which one you guys want and don't worry that they're all black and white but once you guys pick the one that you want i'll have it in a whole bunch of different color waves and shout out to trolls peterson and mitchell montgomery for donating me on patreon I would give an organ to you guys, and I'll see you in hell.